Welcome to the Make Code Arcade live stream. I'm Shannon. I'm at Chacal in the Make Code forums. Uh, who's that? Going second for once. It's Richard. At Richard on the Make Code forum. And I don't know how often she's third, but today we are. I'm Vivian. <laughs> I live cheerful on the Make Code forums. Awesome. Um, and we are great at counting. Uh, that's one of the things we're about. And today um, I'm going to make a baseball game. Um, I think there's a wide variety of these that exist um, on various consoles. There's like old PC games that are baseball. Um, so oh, there's so many my, games. Yeah, my plan is um, I think I'm only going to do batting. I'm going to start with batting and then maybe add pitching. So like you take turns. Um, and you will be like a batter person here. And you'll press the A button to time your like swing based on the pitch. Um, and I'm gonna start with the A button. I don't know if there's gonna be any like aiming component yet. Um, yes, Sh Shannon, what inspired this game for you today? Um, I have been watching. I've been to a couple baseball games, and I started following the Seattle baseball team, the Mariners, um, kind of recently. And oh, it's been a lot of fun. Is it because they're the best team? Because they do the best? It is because they're the best team. They're never going to lose again. So. That's what I thought. <laughs> cool. Um, By the way, in terms of baseball games, baseball for the NES was one of the very first NES games. 1983. Is that Richard's Corner? Richard's Corner. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Let's start with a background image. So it's going to be like the top half of a batter. I think this is like a very standard thing. And then I'll put a little like square here that is like where the pitcher is going to be pitching. And then um, let's just sort of see how that goes. So yeah. Okay. So we're going to be, we're playing as the batter. Yes. Well, you're going to be playing as both, but... As the pitcher, you will just aim from behind the batter, I guess. Okay. All right. And um, would it be helpful if Vivian and I came up with baseball player names? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Richard, let's talk in the chat. <laughs> All right. Um, there's like, yeah, I don't really know. There's like markings on like baseball uh but but we're we're gonna ignore those for now um <laughs> i'm very new at it's, baseball so it's pretty simple you just need white lines on either side of the diamond and I'm then pretty, like basically. where the diamond is there's like a there's like a big thing and it goes out right there's like a outside and then there's like an inside bit where it's like close and those are so, all so just the, the two sides closest to us you just want a white line parallel to both of those like this Yep. But isn't there also like it goes out and there's like a pew up there and there's like a zone um, down here as well that is like significant. I don't think there is, but let me check. Yeah, no. So I, I think you're just thinking of like the implicit thing from the like, you know, where the dirt ends. They also, um, I mean, there's also some chalk marks around the home plate, but you don't need them. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to have that level of granularity. Nobody's even running these bases. Um, right. Oh my gosh. Next time I drive, I'll make a base coach game where you're like, come on, go <gasps> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to have like the pitcher's mound here. So the picture hangs out. Okay. Hey. I feel like probably the most iconic part of baseball is the good baseball tunes. Ooh. Mm, that's all I know about What's baseball. What's your favorite baseball tune? <laughs> Probably take me out to the ball game. And nobody else mm. can choose that one because I've already chosen it. All right. All right. Okay. What would you choose, Richard? Um, Wait, I have a new favorite baseball song. You can have to take me out to the ball game. I'll choose that one then. 
Okay. My favorite one is one from one DiMaggio. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't. I, I think DiMaggio is a baseball player, right? Yeah. Yes, Joe no, no. DiMaggio. One for one, perfect hit. Two for two, something something. Two for three, something like that. <laughs> Who is it by? Uh, the only one I know is Jumpin' Joe DiMaggio. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Vivian, who's your song by? I'm a band called Wolfpack. I'll send it to you guys oh. after. Sorry, I'm trying to just like figure out how big this should be. Ace here. And then. Vivian's not putting in anything in the chat. Oh, I thought we were going to do it in Twitch chat. Oh, okay. Let's do it in Twitch chat. And also, I wanted to see Shannon draw some characters first before I started giving them names because I don't know what their vibes are yet. Oh, I'm going to ask you guys to also draw characters. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll see. Um, bottom two, um, 120. And then. That looks all right, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that looks awesome, Shan. <laughs> At I'm first, really I didn't good. get it because I thought it was a like a Loch Ness monster situation, <laughs> but then the positioning really helped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. Um. I'll give them a. How tall is this? I have, I have no idea what song you're doing. There you go. It's one for one DiMaggio, Richard. Mm. This is a good hat. I approve of that hat as a hat expert. <laughs> All right, so batter, and then when you press the A button, oh, should have made this image bigger. Mm, oh no, I actually I want the bat to be a separate image. Well, so what you could do is you could just do three. One is like no. I was bat. only gonna do. Oh, sorry. Go for it. You could do one is no bat, then like pressed is bat back, and then released is bat like that. Yeah, so I'm actually trying to figure out mechanically speaking, like if if like whether you get a good hit will be based on like bat position or anything. Hmm. I think it should just be based off timing. Yeah, that does seem more straightforward. Um mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, in that case, I think I'm only going to do two just because um, it's just going to be like a you press to like swing kind of thing. Oh no. <laughs> um, I typed in a number I didn't like and then I pressed um, undo, which undid the thing that I drew. And uh, then I let go to press redo and it set the size. This is a very specific sequence of events. Um, I like to think that my names can apply to any character. don't have like a great sense of what it looks like. okay so you take it and then you go like yeah so you have like you have like both arms and you hold it out like this i don't know if you can see my arms i cannot oh, oh right you can't see me at all no so i can see i can see one of you guys at a time but it's also very small and you are currently being blocked by the team's icons richard 
Oh. Okay, Richard was, it was looking like he was going to dive off a diving board. Oh, he's going to do it. Uh, you have to be speaking also, Richard, because now all I see is Vivian. <laughs> speaking, because I am making the bat swing pose. Where I hold out both my arms like this. And you have to imagine that there's a bat there. I don't have anything that approximates a bat, I don't think. I think to I'm going to keep around. speaking so that I stay focused Stop in the angle. team's call. What? You're facing the wrong way because this is a batter from behind. But that's okay. I'm just going to do some stuff and we'll like figure. Nope, still not from behind. <laughs> oh my goodness, Richard. Here, Shannon, look at me. But Shannon, do whatever you want. It's going to be like this. <laughs> Thank you. Vivian nailed it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think you get the three directions that were not this one. But <laughs> I, I appreciate the effort very much. Richard, together, oh, we are best, one everybody. good model. Together. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> this, is like their, this is like their baseball bat is the, like, Samus Aran's blaster. Just, like, at the end of their arm. I think it's like a, um, it's like a cricket bat where it's, like, very flat. <laughs> it's the force of the bat hitting the ball, flattening it out. Yeah. Um. All right. Cool. <laughs> Fine. Um. So when you press the A button, you swing, and when you let go, you go back. So it's like, whoo. Um. When you, you know, hit the like, ball, also, can we make like a big little like? Ooh, little... like force lines. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or even like one of those star dealios, like it's the crack. Oh, like a like a comics effect, like a yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, all right, and then I'm going to make the picture. Mm. <laughs> and I'm going to make them very small. I know another baseball song, the one from High School Musical 2. They're like, oh, yeah. Dance. I know you can. <laughs> Wait, they play basketball in high school musical. Not in two. Oh. In two, oh. there's a baseball sequence where one guy's like, I don't dance. And the other guy's really good at baseball and dancing. He's like, yeah. I know you can. <laughs> I know I've played, I know I've seen high school musical too. They're all working not... at a resort. Golf. Yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. How can you not remember this this dance, Richard? It was iconic. Mm. To be honest, I only remember High School Musical one very well. High School Musical All, one's like the up. like the moody dance in the thunderstorm. <laughs> um, and then the song where they're all passing the ball to each other it's head in the game yeah wait what's a thunderstorm song yeah i don't know there's if i a, know the thunderstorm song there's what there's a scene where zach efron is at the school at night and he's like singing to himself and there's like a thunderstorm outside i don't like the moody songs i always skip those i didn't <laughs> like i didn't like bet on it either it always made oh, me feel like Vivian. it was just like oh my god <laughs> calm down zach bet on it bet on it is a national treasure <laughs> I like the Sharpay songs. Sharpay and she's songs like, are Excuse me. And they hit the right note on the piano. Um, the 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 status quo one was my favorite in school. Ooh. But I think now it is something else. <laughs> we sing stick to the status quo all the time in this household in our date. Cause sometimes we'll say like we'll ask a question and the answer will be no, but instead of going no, we go, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Mm. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if this is complete gibberish to our viewers. What? Nobody watches High School Musical. Yeah, as opposed to it. our, as opposed to our talk about um, synthesizers and old video games, which everyone understands and loves. <laughs> hey, now I feel like that was directed at me. No, video games was about. Well, you and Joey, I guess. Um, <laughs> or it's the sport of baseball. I don't know. Um, All right. 
Shannon, and I guess all you play with thing. synthesizers too. This was mostly a thing in the U.S. and maybe like Japan and Korea. Definitely a thing in Japan. But like they're, oh. they're rebooting High School Musical, the musical, the show, right? And I yeah, heard it's that's true. So <laughs> we're still relevant. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, here's the picture, and then I'm gonna make. Unrelated. I really like mm -hmm. Camp Rock too. I don't know what that is. Okay, maybe Camp Rock is too late for you, Shannon. This is why I'm <laughs> Gen Z. Real Gen Z knows Camp Rock. <laughs> I'm definitely uh, not Gen Z. <laughs> that's the one with Demi Lovato. Yeah. And they go, we rock, we rock, we rock. Come on. Richard knows Camp Rock, so. And I'm older than Shannon. What does this say oh, about no. Richard? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Maybe you could be an honorary Gen Z, Richard. Mm. Maybe you I like animals, although sounds so futuristic. <laughs> Guys, so when I met Vivian in person the other day, um, we she said even... two things to me. Sorry, what? When, when I met you in person the other day, you said two things to me. The first one was, your voice is terrible. I hate it. And the second was, um, you look much younger in person. Oh, yeah. So. It's true. <laughs> what is this thing you're doing? Z for Gen Z. Richard, how is meeting me in person? Do I look older nice. in person? Um, yeah, you looked about the same. It did take me a little bit of time to adjust to your, your non-voice. But, oh, new make code help desk soon. Oh, we were going to do that, but we forgot to make the post. <laughs> Maybe can we make the post. Make the post for Friday, but then we got the request that the next help desk should be in person, and we don't have plans for that. Should we just ignore oh. like that suggestion? Yeah, let's just do a normal help desk. <laughs> okay, it'll be next week then. Next Friday? Yeah. Um, and then uh, one other thing, I have to give myself a quarter because I didn't upload the video yesterday. Oh, <laughs> okay, so I think you're gonna get like a three. Oh boy, I owe three. 40 quarters. What? I owe 40 quarters. Oh, total. I see, yes. Uh -huh. That's $10. <laughs> mm. All right, let's do some text. And. Um, I can't get the text off the text right. All right, what time is it? It's time for time for arcade, arcade sprite, sprite data. Yay. Is it? Did I do it in the right direction? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm so sad we didn't get to do that in person. Someday. We'll have a banner, okay. too. Next time, next time Vivian streams, it's octuple quarter. Hey, what this happened Shannon? to me. It happened to Why you doesn't too. Shannon get, like... Because Shannon's so far behind us, she'll never catch up. Doesn't <laughs> Shannon, we should have, like, a 32 times quarter day? 100 times? Centennial quarter day? Okay. Shannon, do you want to have a centennial quarter day? Um, I'm game. I'm game to try. <laughs> 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 the confidence. Wait, I feel like I could. I feel like Centennial Quarters would be very motivating. That that's twenty five dollars, isn't it? Is that how you do math? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. Divide by four. Yep. Shannon. Okay. Okay. It can't be Centennial. That's too much. That's crazy. <gasps> it's only Centennial if I have to pay it. <laughs> uh, I don't like the precedent system. So <laughs> no. No. Vivian no, has no we faith. Gotta, in gotta do this. I was just kidding. <laughs> this looks so good. And setting a hmm? Shannon game. Looks amazing. True. I think the people are a little bit funky, but no, um look amazing. In a good way. She needs like a baseball shirt. But I'm gonna make their arms longer in the bat too, so um okay. 
So I'm making a counter. I'm going to set, I'm going to make it big. Counter font height to like 32. And then I'm going to give it a outline, I think is the thing I want. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, but that, that color, I want it to be. Yeah, okay, and I'll put it up there. So. Y equals like 30. Cool. Um, and then I've set a lifespan of 1000 milliseconds or one second, and it's a text sprite, so it's a different kind than everything else. So when text gets destroyed, uh, I'm just going to make a new one that's like one less. Um, this is a dumb way to do this. I could just do this in like a game update also, but we're here now. Yeah. Um, so, huh? What's your heart? <laughs> um, cool. My heart says we've already, we're, we've dragged out eight blocks, so we are not deleting those guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check data as number. So if the count is greater than zero, then we just decrease it by one. Um, so in the text sprite, perfect. Ooh, Vivian, this is not going to work. Off tiny heart thing again. Dang it. Like this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. How do I, I guess I'll just use the global variable. Mm. That's fine. Oh no, I can't because it's being destroyed. Mm hmm? Uh, so I need to, oh, I just need to make a new one. Okay, uh, let's make a function. <laughs> $25 dollar function. It's today, Santana? No, it's not today, Shannon. No, it's not today. Oh, okay. it's not today. <laughs> hey, how do you guys feel about quarter opportunity? <laughs> <laughs> it's surprisingly easy to say. Quarter opportunity? There's a word patoot in it. <laughs> no, it's quarter patoonity. Yep. Three. Cool. Okay, okay, so I just made all of that into like a function that makes a text sprite at the correct position. And um, then I'm going to awesome. Um, so I'm changing the count by negative one, and I'm going to get the count. Another yeah. number. When you throw the ball, Shannon, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. should start out as one pixel and get bigger, and we should do a motion animation to make it go, like, curve. Ooh, OK. Yeah, so yeah, I was definitely going to do the getting bigger. Um, and then I think it should move, like, yeah, either, like, out and in, or, like, well, they should be like if we'll you're a pitcher. Something. I feel like you should have options. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. When you so when you're a pitcher, you're gonna have a little cursor to like say where you're targeting, and then you're gonna have different kinds of pitches that you can do, like gotcha. bat, curveball, sinker, um, etc. But I I don't know if we're gonna get to pitcher today. Um, okay, three, two, one, zero. Um, because I. <laughs> Okay, so this last one is one. Otherwise, when you hit zero, then we're going to pitch. Um, yeah, let's make a function because yeah. I think I think this we want we want we want this to be reusable theoretically. It's oh. not just a, a tarry black substance. Pitch. <laughs> it's not just the amplitude 
the frequency of your notes. Pitch. <laughs> it's not just how tilted your plane is. Pitch. <laughs> It's not just part of a thing you can hold water in. Pitcher! <laughs> it's not just that great idea you have for a movie. Oh, Pitch! <laughs> wow, what a verbose word. Yeah, I feel like we might have hit the limit, though. Can you do one more? I think there's one for, like, um... Oh, it's, it's like the act. Oh, sorry, no, Shannon got it, Shannon got it. No, 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 go, Shannon. That's what I was doing with the plane. That's what the pitching you off. Well, then there's one for just generic English of, like, um, like the ship's deck is pitching back and forth. Oh, Wait, it's not just how you set up a tent. (gasps) Oh, yeah. That's that's a good one. (laughs) Right. Um, okay, so this is a baseball, um, and um, I think, let's see, we're going to do a little animation, of the, a two-frame animation of the pitcher going to, like, throwing. This is not how you pitch a baseball. Um, <laughs> and then the ball is going to get bigger over time, which maybe I'll also do with lifespan and random numbers. Um, just do it with an animation. But should it be different? Like, um... So, you're going to have a time that this needs to run, right? Yeah, so the thing I was thinking of was I could do, I could set a lifespan on the baseball. I could have a start, I could make sure that it's always decreasing, so it's coming at you faster and faster, but it's a little bit random in there. And based on the size of the ball, you decide when you're going to swing. Um... Okay. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Richard, so, Shannon's got to follow her heart. <laughs> but it's not going to work with the movement animation if you do it that way because you're going to be creating and recreating sprites. You're right. But the movement animation doesn't allow for frame animation anyway. So, what you could do instead is just do evenly, but do a random amount of time based off what type of pitch they did, I guess. But I can't make it get bigger and do a movement animation. You can't change you can do both. I don't think they work together. They work together. Absolutely. <laughs> Shannon's doubting. <laughs> I thought this was one of those things that was like, we should fix this later. But let's see. Maybe it does. One, four, one. Two, four, two. Two, four, three, four, three. So you get four frames of preparation. We'll make this nice later. Um, yeah. And then, so I'm going to make this. 2000 is right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? That's where yeah, I wanted to make it a little bit faster. Um, 800. For four frames, right? One, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. And then we'll do a... Uh... Do a one that we know we'll be able to see, I guess. Oh! Wow. That's a foul? <laughs> I think it's just a bad pitch. Probably bad. a ball. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let me do parachute. <laughs> That'll be a difficult one, difficult one to hit. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Um, so then I'm going to name variable eball and um, put it in the pitcher's hand, which is there. That Position to um, e x equals little over half, which is probably like e five. Hmm. Eighty five. Okay. Mm, 
like a little high. All right, and then um, let's see. You guys want to come up with like a SVG? Would you be able to on the spot come up with an SVG path that is like yeah, out and then we'll in? Do that. Oh, not like right now. <laughs> what? Well, I was gonna paste it in. Do you want me to? You want me to oh, do it like okay. as we're going? We can do it as yeah. we're going. So you'll oh, want to. Oh, I just wanted to say if it was straightforward enough to be like. Yeah, totally. So let's do. Cool. Um, we're gonna do Q, lowercase mm -hmm. Q. And so the way that you do these paths is you're gonna give it. Um, uh, uh, let's see, three points, right? Um, sorry, two points. So the first one that you want to do is the control point, and this is going to define how curvy it is. And so we want this one, because we're curving to the right and then to the left, be over to the right and be about halfway between where we're going to go. So uh, because we're doing lowercase q, it's relative. So how far to the right should it go? 15 pixels? OK, so let's put in 20 for the x. OK. And then for the Y, we want to do about halfway between where we're going. Also 20. OK. And now you want to do the part where the place where it should end. So that should be 40 pixels for the uh, Y. And then for the X, it should be like negative 5. Negative 5? For the X. Oh, you want it to come like back around. OK, some of these numbers should be random, but we can do that. Yeah, well, this is gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You switch, you swap the x and y. Oh yes. Nice. Okay. Um, let me just. I'll make the animation more. Since I can't space out the um like the timing of the frames, I'll just make the frames themselves like more, um, oh, this is not gonna look anything like a baseball. I this. feel like it, it's a baseball because it's flying at you, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's a baseball. Now you can get to like baseball. I kind of liked the scribbly one more. <laughs> Um, okay, let me actually make this guy. No, I want to make it bigger. Bigger than this? What is I want this? it to be, um, yeah, perfect. I feel like that's a, it is a really big jump, isn't it? Yeah, um, let's see. Maybe this one should also be bigger. I don't want them to be evenly spaced. Um. Oh, I see. It should be coming. It should come at you faster than. Um... Okay. Right. So that... it, should, it shouldn't be linear, is what we're saying. Now that's yes. that's a good that's a good baseball. <laughs> and then okay, so it went from this to this, so then it go this way. Yeah, you want it to be slower at the end, right? Yeah, it is just a slower at the end. Yeah. All right. This is maybe not a very good circle, but. Eh. Then we'll do like uh, this. This is too much time on drawing. OK. Um, Never say that. <laughs> cool. Good enough. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of randomness in this string. So, um, so like Richard explained, right, each of these numbers is, um, eh, all right, Q, and then um, I think we actually want the starting place to always be the same. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Yeah. The control point. The starting place is always the same anyway. The control point can be slightly different. So yeah, let me get a piece of paper and I can draw what this is for the viewers at home. 
<laughs> All right. So I'm going to need a space in between each of them because um, this is a pick random, so it doesn't have a space. So this is going to be a very tall block. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a space. This is a space. This is space. All right, cool. And then um, 2020. So I'm just going to do like a little bit above and below. Um, let's do um, 20 goes out pretty far. And this is negative five. So I actually think I probably want. All right. Well, I was drawing this with a pencil. And it's quite bad, but um, let's take a look at this. So we have um, uh, 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 basically a few things that are like um, defined here. We have the point where we start, which is right there. I need to get this where it's centered. Yeah, okay. For the point where we start, we have the control point, which is right here. Um, and then we have the end point, which is here. And basically what you can imagine is if this was a corner between the control point and the end point and the beginning point, you draw a curve that just goes like into that corner. And that's going to define how curvy it is. Um, so if you were to put the end point up here, it would be curvier on the top and then less curvy in the bottom. If you put it down here, it would be less curvy at the top and more curvy at the bottom. It's a fun thing to just kind of try out with different values and see what you get. Um, should the end point be like off screen so that if you like miss it, it keeps going? No. No, because it, it needs to point, it needs to go through the square. Yeah, could it go through like the square but like further left? Like, like it should just keep going down? Yeah. Or. Um, yeah, okay, let me think. So, okay, so, so I'm trying to figure out right now how to, yeah, how to do like a hit. Mm -hmm. So. Um, okay, so I think you want it want you want it to be you want to hit the ball when it's at its biggest because that means it's here. Um, and then also it should be like in the square um, when you hit it. So, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I think that's right. So if I want the end point to be um, off, then I'll do a I'll just make the y more. Um, so the ball starts at Y70, and our screen is 120 tall, so it's just going to be 50. Mm, more than 50, probably. It's going to be like, ball is 16 by 16, so 60. So Shannon put in a space there, which is really important. You need to have a space in between your numbers. Oh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Continue. Let me see if it can get here. I think maybe it's not negative enough. Or this is just random. Okay, okay, that looks good. I'm gonna have this control point be slightly. Okay, cool. Um, this is probably fine. Um, and then um yeah let's just try some hitting and we'll see um so first thing i'm going to do is the thing i said i was going to do earlier which is to make this batter um wider for 72 and this will also be 70. 
22. This is my pitch. We joined pitch. the intramural. Um, Wait. What? Oh. You said pitch. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Intramural baseball team. But instead mm -hmm. of playing baseball, we just recreate scenes from High School Musical. We will win because nobody will want to play against us because we're so annoying. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'd rather um, just play baseball if I'm being honest here. What? Really? You would rather play baseball? Yeah, I want to try to swing a bat and hit a ball with it. It seems fun. You can still swing and hit the bat, but you got to do it while like doing high kicks and like singing. <laughs> and point at people and be like, you can dance. Mm -hmm. I think we would um, win all the games. Another forfeit, huh? <laughs> This is how we won in high school. Nobody wanted to play against us. What? We did this for basketball, and, and, and we all pretended to be Death Eaters. <laughs> nobody, oh nobody played against us. It's a real thing you did? Yeah, it was tradition. Then, and the other teams were like, actually, we're not coming to this game. Yeah, because they're like, this is super annoying. We'd have moves where we were like, you know, we'd, ha we'd have, like, da Darth, what are they called? Death marks on arms. And if you touched it, you everybody would have to, like, scream and, like, collapse on the ground. Or we'd, like, surround the person with the ball or, like, carry them, like, Quidditch. And you just went to, like, a normal high school, right? Like Wait, so you would you would do this in a game, during a game? Yes, sir. <laughs> we played, like, you two were, games. You were, you were on this team, I assume. Yeah. Vivian is tall. We know this. True. There were no repercussions. Nope. Well, nobody wanted to play them anymore. That's not a repercussion. That's a that's a win. <laughs> we're gonna ask Vivian a lot of follow-up questions about this later. <laughs> it's a strategy that we know works. Why don't the Mariners do this? <laughs> um. Okay, so the player is you. Um, so when player overlaps sprite of kind baseball, then um, I mean, you start so high up. Maybe I could just do like a straight overlap. <laughs> um, well, I don't want you to be able to hold your bat out, I guess. No, that's a bunt. Um. <laughs> You gotta do punts. Well, not in the next thirteen minutes. Um. What's the success rate of punts? There's definitely numbers on this. Baseball has so many stats. I feel I like think it's like not great. Oh, sorry. Or it's like, how do you define success? You know, it's like, is it getting you to the plate, or is it getting your teammates back home? Good question. Both of those count. I think if, but if neither of them happens, then it's not a success. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so then I'm going to change the kind. Um, Richard, if, if the Makeco team were a baseball team, what position would you play? Hmm. I would be the designated hitter. Wait, what does that mean? Um, the designated hitter is the person who they don't play in the outfield and they're on the batting lineup to like clean up. Oh, that's so cool! I think they stand in for pitchers sometimes too. Is mm. the um because pitchers are not necessarily good at hitting because <laughs> they're really good at pitching. Shannon, what would you be? Um, shortstop. It's got a cool different name. I don't really know. I don't like this is I know it stands between second and third base, right? Uh, no, third base and home. What? Uh, no, it's the first and second. A shortstop. Yeah, right. You stop them. No, short. you're right. You're right. Second and third. <laughs> Shannon was also right about the designated hitter. They, they bat in place of the pitcher. Shannon knows really so much about baseball. Wow. <laughs> All 
Okay, so this is Richard's thing of giving the ball speed lines. Um, so I'm going to make a new sprite where the baseball currently is. It'll be a little bit bigger than the baseball. And let me just take my baseball image. And I'll put it to here. And then I'll just do some lines around it. I think dark purple should be okay. Maybe. Oh wait, no, Richard, you said not speed lines. You wanted a sound. Yeah, effect. I was think I was thinking like the sound effect, like the the like a yellow spiky thing behind it. What would that on a oh? Exactly like that. Wow. Okay, that's not what I was picturing. <laughs> okay. And then um I don't need the actual ball here. So yes. No no no, mine's unrelated. Oh, okay, go for it though. <laughs> no no Shannon, you go ahead and when when there's oh, another no, I just I, I didn't have anything to say. I just heard you go. <laughs> okay. We should make a game someday where you play the game and then afterwards it'll create a comic book strip of you playing the game with like sound effects added on afterwards and you could print it out. This is um, a great idea and also an extremely Vivian idea. <laughs> it's um, a new it's genre of Excellent. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, just make sure the Z is below the baseball Z, I think. It is. I just set the baseball Z. Um, Perfect. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to give it a short lifespan. And then I'm going to animate the ball back so that's fx lifespan two like i don't know and so is your your idea being like we should like put up it would be fine if we simulated a number of the play after you hit the ball you know yeah I, okay i don't know if i know enough about baseball to pull this off um Because it's like mean? the names, right? It's like single, double, but then there's like numbers and stuff too. So what I was thinking is we make a little diamond in like the top left corner, okay? And we put people on the bases. Mm. Well, that's not happening in the next eight minutes. Um, no, it's not. We're coming back to this game, Shan. <laughs> I've decided it. I didn't even use any of your good player names. Maybe I'll do that in the next eight minutes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then very quickly, I'm going to um, stop all animations. Beautiful. On. Ball. And then I'm going to just do like a up and down. Um, and I'll reverse the frame so it's getting small again. Um, all right, I'm going to gather up these names in the call perfect. chat. Um, so I'm going to animate. Cool. And then, um, let's see. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to also duplicate this guy. Oops. Oh no. Okay, and you're gonna have to guess if this is a Richard name or a Vivian name. <laughs> I'm just posting all of them. Okay. Um, and then, so I want it to go up and down and maybe like a little bit to the side so we're starting um this is the control point which is going to be that middle one so mm, x will be a very random number oh man x is going to be like zero um mm, I don't want to. I don't want to have to match the control point x up to the end point x, or like I don't want to have to like write a function to do it. So we're just gonna do like a little bit, and then maybe it'll be just like a weird curve. Five to five to five, and the y is gonna be um, a lot. It's gonna be like 
60 to like 90. And then the end X is also going to be a lot. It's going to be... Like well, you're going to put the, the Y could be up to 90? Whoa. Yeah. That's weird. What? That's probably going to dip off screen and come back. Negative? Come on. Um, okay, so this is the ending X. And then the ending Y will be... Uh, What is this like? So we're starting from here, 60 to 90. 30 to 60? This is be negative? It is, yeah. Okay, okay let us try this very quickly. Um, <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Um <laughs> it just stays there. This is fine. Um okay, I'm gonna do the player names. Um so before I start the counter, I'm actually gonna do some text. Um and this is gonna be a function. Uh make player name. So um text right set text right to um I don't know what the like that mm -hmm. um oh yeah the name name and I'm gonna make which kind of it that Text right kind to text name. All right. And I'm going to give it all the same thing that text right outline to this. And also the same lifespan and also the same position. Um, and then instead of calling make number, I'm going to call make player name. Oh, I'm just going to put the random in there. And then when the player name is destroyed, uh, destroyed. You want to call make player text name? Text name. So call make number. Oh. Hmm? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Um. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, and then uh, th th you can only bat once right now. We'll figure this out later. Um, and we have our get random value from names. Okay, where okay. are these? So I posted some, they're in the chat. You're, hey. you're the, the chat on um, Teams. And I posted some before. But I have edited them so that you do not know if they are from me or from Vivian. So these are all just in random oh. order from Vivian. Do you need to guess? Okay. Um, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna paste them all in and then. Um, oh, you're not gonna through. guess as you go? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, That's fine. you are... <laughs> That way we can very quickly do like a verification thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and also I can go over them and. <laughs> From the like corpus. We did have a suggestion that one of the players should be a dog and be called tapioca. Oh, which this I, is a Richard name. I like um, setting the in the canon that our dog is going to be called tapioca. <laughs> we have we have Bartholomew's in the canon also. <laughs> okay. Um. So. Millie Fleet is, um, Vivian? Yeah. Ding, 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 one point. <laughs> JP Potato Dough, also Vivian? Mm -mm. That's a Richard. No. Um, one point for us. <laughs> Josephine Till, Richard? That's a Vivian. Also no. <laughs> Tad Crawdad. Richard? 
Yes. Okay. Parnassus you too. This one is Richard? Yes. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Argo cards. Vivian? Nope. Sherry's <laughs> Carpenter. Vivian? Yeah. Okay. Wait, Richard, that was the wrong. Yeah. What does that mean? What, where where are we? And tapioca All right. is a group effort. Or four chat, to actually. Four to three, you did it. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I don't like the way this looks. It's like this, coming up to, oh, yeah. Okay, good enough for now. It is 2 o'clock exactly. Um, all right. Thank you guys so much for joining us. This has been the Make Code Arcade live stream. I'm Shannon. I'm at Shakal on the Make Code forums. Um, I'm Richard. I'm sorry for making the name Parnassus McGill Cuddy so long. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Vivian at Literature on the Make Code forums. <laughs>